to Goalie Training Pro TV episode 45. I always get excited when it's divisible by five. And this one, it legit is divisible by five. We are talking about something that is more important than core strength for a goalie today. So you're saying, what could be more important than core strength? All my goalie coaches talk about core strength. The guys on TV talk about core strength, how important it is for goalies. Hi, Tyler. Special guest appearance today by Tyler, the nice gentleman, Tyler Dorn. <laughs> Sorry, guy. We'll be done in a minute. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, it's a very professional operation we have going here in the sound stage. Um, and core strength is important, so don't get me wrong at all, it is totally important. I did a video about it on the slide board in case you missed it. Sarah's going to post it here or here. You can click on the link. Make sure you watch that video because it is, uh, core strength is important. But if you don't have hip strength, you're going to be losing uh, power, you're going to be moving inefficiently, you're going to be doing more work than you have to. So hip stability, did I say hip strength or stability, Sarah? Hip stability is what I meant to say. Um, so if you don't have hip stability, because you don't really think of it, but anytime you're pushing in your half butterfly, this hip has to be stable. If it's not stable and some of that energy is bleeding into just breaking at your hip, well then two things are happening. Number one, I'm losing power, but number two, I'm also kind of getting off balance because this isn't really an efficient way to balance. So what can we do about that? The good news is it's super simple to improve. And if you try these next two drills that I'm gonna show you, these are gonna be the test and they're also gonna be the, the cure. And if you work on them even for the next, like once a day for the next three days, you're gonna see a huge improvement in your stability and you are gonna feel it on the ice. You're gonna be like, wow, that, that girl was right. I really feel that on the ice. So here's the test. Can you, with your hands on your hips, so you can't have your arms flipping all over the place, can you stay tall in this hip, square in your torso, and lift up your foot off the floor and hold that for 30 seconds? So can you do that for 30 seconds without tipping over? The other challenge is, can you do this butterfly flow that you've seen me use before? So my arms are off the floor. I'm coming up slowly with control. I'm not putting my foot down. I'm coming back, sweeping back down, keeping a nice steady pace until I'm back down on the floor. Can you do both of those with, with control and precision? If you can, you actually have pretty good hips to really give yourself a little pat on the back. If you can't, do them just again, once a day for the next three days and you'll notice a difference. Do the balance for 30 seconds. Do just like two reps of the pigeon flow on each leg and see what a difference that makes. And that helps train sort of some functional stability and in different positions. Again, core stability is still an important element. Think about bracing a little bit with your abdominals as you do that and you'll see how, oh, that actually improves my performance of those exercises. That's just, again, it's a snapshot. If you want a comprehensive program, then you're probably after the shutout academy, which includes strength, stability, speed, stamina, Mobility, it's, got, it's everything is in there. Um, you can find that at shoutoutacademy.com. If you like this video, give it a like or a double tap or hit the bell. If you have a question or a comment, leave a comment below. I answer all my comments. Otherwise, we'll see you later for episode number 46, which is not divisible by five.